Fernando Alonso and Lewis Hamilton had a famously fractious relationship when at McLaren together in 2007. Esteban Ocon dismissed the notion that Fernando Alonso is difficult to work with after the pair's first season together at Alpine. The duo led the French team to a fifth-placed finish in the Constructors' Championship, with Ocon also notching their maiden Grand Prix win at a dramatic Hungarian Grand Prix. Alonso, who eventually finished 10th in the driver's standings, just one place ahead of his teammate, also notched a first podium finish for seven years when he was third at the Qatar Grand Prix in November. The two will resume their partnership for the 2022 season in Ocon, 25 has lavished praise on the two-time world champion, despite admitting to originally being curious over the perception of him being a difficult partner. Much of that reputation was cemented during his infamous 2007 season with McLaren, where he was joined by then-rookie Lewis Hamilton. Originally Alonso was billed as the team's number one driver, but that notion was turned on its head when it was the young British star who competed for the title only losing out to Kimi Raikkonen in the final race of the season. Relations between the two became untenable and Alonso's contract was terminated by then-team boss Ron Dennis ahead of the 2008 campaign. Both drivers have since made up, but Ocon has had no such problems with the 40-year-old Spaniard. Yes, I heard a lot of that for sure, Ocon told GP fans. A lot of people said, obviously. That Fernando was very difficult to work with, that he had a reputation, to breaking teammates and all that, but I wanted to see it from my eyes. I wanted to see if what people were saying was true, and in the end, it wasn't. We just had a fantastic collaboration altogether. Ocon also explained how he's been able to learn from the F1 legend, outlining the qualities of the most experienced driver on the circuit just the way Fernando thinks out of the box where some of the drivers will not think about, or even the team will not think about some stuff, sometimes, he added. It's pushing the limit to strategies or how we can optimize everything. In that regard, I've definitely learned a lot Alpine will be hopeful of regularly challenging in races in 2022, with new technical regulations being introduced from next season. Designed to make the sport more competitive. Aerodynamic testing and use of power units are among things to be guided by new regulations.